Well, tonight, a heartbroken Norfolk neighborhood gathered for a community walk. They're turning their sorrow into action to help take back the community. 42 year old Edward Collins was shot and killed late Monday night. And days later, police returned to the scene, joining forces with local partners. It's yet another local community plagued by gun violence. Michelle Wolf joins us tonight with the neighbors hope moving forward. Dozens of community members and Norfolk police officers walk side by side tonight through Young Terrace, showing support for the neighborhood that's grappled with gun violence. A Norfolk family now without its patriarch. 42 year old Edward Collins was shot and killed this week two blocks from his house on East Olney Road. Collins, investigators say, was an innocent bystander. And on Thursday night, three days after Collins' death, police made their presence known throughout the neighborhood. Us coming out here tonight is as a deterrent to let the community and the family know that we are here and we're not going anywhere. Sergeant Ali Williams says Collins was preparing to celebrate his 43rd birthday this Saturday and that the father of five was well known in Young Terrace. Mr. Collins was an awesome individual here in the community. Definitely well known. He was known to give his shirt off his back to anyone in need. Officers along with Young Terrace residents, faith leaders, community organizations and young children walked half a mile through the neighborhood after dark, showing support and unity. What's done in the dark will come out in the light. We'll find out and justice will be will prevail. One of those organizations guns down. Our community is tired of what's going on out here. You know, the outrage, you know, they're tired of being, you know, held hostage in their own community. Activist Clayton Marquez knows members of Collins family and is heartbroken by the violence. It's something happened to one of us, it happened to all of us, and we just wanted to come together, you know, as a group and just be there for the family as a support system. Offering support and encouraging folks to speak up if they see something. We want to make sure that when we come out, that we're wanted, our, that our efforts are wanted, and that they'll help us. In Norfolk, Michelle Wolf, 10 on your side.